only on VCR. We don't write songs, we prompt with flair. A good prompt makes the superstar. Hi, today I want to show you how to run Vian 2.2 S2V on my RTX 4070 with 8 gig of VRAM. You can go to the website here, Vian 2.2 S2V Audio, and there are information about how to download models. But I'm not going to use this model because it won't work on my 8 gig VRAM. Let me show you what I have done. I basically go to the Comfy UI. Of course, don't forget to update your Comfy UI. And after that, you should be able to see browse templates here. Go to video and you will see Ben 2.2 S to V audio driven video generation. Just click on it. And this is the workflow I will be showing to you. It looks a little bit massive. But actually, we don't need to know everything. The first thing I want to show you is I'm not going to use the model here. I need to run a GGUF loader. So just delete this one. And GGUF loader. Of course, we need the GGUF model. I got it from here. This is the website for my model. I will link it in the description. There are different types. You can try out uh, different things. I've downloaded the Q80. That works for me. And the other thing is, I also downloaded the uh, LoRa. This is the LoRa page, Lite X2B. And I just downloaded the high noise, safe tensors, and rename it accordingly. Uh, now I'm going to show it on my workflow. Here's my van 2.2 S2V. And now this is the LoRa I'm using. Text to V here. Four step LoRa. And I need to connect this one to here. And other thing is that we have used this before. So I hope you already downloaded UMT5. This I have used before, so it should be already there on my environment. One more thing is this the audio encoder. You need to download the audio encoder as well. That's the GGUF model website. And you can see the audio encoder here. And this is the location you have to put it to. And if I click on it, this is the one I downloaded. And down here, this is where I can upload an audio. But instead of this audio note, I'm going to use low audio path. Because this one, I can specify the section I want to use. So I just need to make sure I'm connecting the right input of next node. So where is the audio? go to. So there's one go to there. So there's another one go to there. So this one I'm going to drag it to this one. So this one. So now I just need to upload audio. To avoid content ID match, I'm going to use my own AI music. Okay, and now I also want the audio preview. I try this. Let me put it here and connect this one. Let's delete this one. I already tried this, so I know this is the part I want to use. So we start from 14 and five seconds okay before i do that i want to bypass this i want i don't want to run anything from that one so and just run this note okay now let me play the music 
OK, that's the Chinese New Year song I created for this year. You can check out the full song on my older video. OK, now we need an image for that. Let's put it a female singer here. Now let's go to this here. You can see this is a case sampler here. And there are some extensions here. So, and there's a description down here. It's saying every subgraph will add 77 frames to the final output. So this is what this is about. Because 77 is a little bit less than 5 seconds video. It's a 16 frame per second video. Now we want to run 5 seconds, so I only need one of these. So the extent I'm going to disable for the moment. And the other thing is, because I'm running a single S to V, so I just put it to 1 here. And that one will generate maximum 77 frames. Oh, one more thing, I need to change the prompt here, just to make it simple. The woman is singing. Before I run it, I need to disable bypass from here. This is the output node, but I can enable bypass my audio preview and now run it. Hope I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look how long did it take. 335 seconds. Not too bad for 8 gig memory. This one is 640 times 640. <laughs> Okay, the lip sync is not bad at all. Uh, only the hand here is a little bit weird. I guess you can fix it with the steps here. Maybe increasing the step could fix this. Next, I want to try with a different image and a different song. Okay, that's a Christmas song. Okay, a little bit. Christmas atmosphere, but this time I need to crop a little bit, otherwise it's, if the face is too small, the lip sync won't be good. Now I'm going to do this with a image crop. Let me do this with a preview as well, preview image. Hang on. Just before I run it, I need to link my image to all the other input. So this is the original image here. Now I want to run it from the crop image from here. So basically, all these noodles I need to use is coming from here. So. Let's have a look here. There are four of them. And now I need to replace this one with the image go to here. I just put it there even I'm not using at the moment. So Just uh, easier to read, I just enable them for the moment. So now you can see this are uh, the ref image here. Now I need to use my image output to put it here. For the moment I'm not using them, so just disable, but we will try it later. Okay, just run it now. Okay, it's done. Let's look at the quality. Okay, 
Okay, that's uh, my Christmas song. You can check out the full song in my older video. I will put a link in the description. Now, finally, let's make a longer video. So the duration, I am going to do it with 17. And this requires all of them, all of the extension here. So I need to enable them. And the other thing is the batch, I have to increase it to 4. This will stitch them together at the end. Okay, now let's say good luck and run it. Okay, obviously I just hit my limit for my 8 gig of VRAM. It's out of memory. What I can do is, I, let me adjust the image a little bit. And 640, see whether we can get this done. And now rerun. Okay, the generation was successful. For the Christmas music video I did for last year, I was using Hydra free credit every day. So uh, I have to watch out. I can't just experimenting with a lot of different things because I will run out of credit every day, so I have to wait for another day. But this one, I can use it for free, unlimited, and I can try as long as I want. I'm quite happy with the results. I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video